Hi guys, welcome back to my channel one more time. Today I'm going to do an exciting video because I'm going to do a more of a challenge video today. I'm going to make myself look like Selena Quintanilla. I say her last name right. I'm always just so used to saying like Selena. Selena. A few times ever since I've cut my bangs, um, so many people have told me, oh my gosh, you look Selena. And even before that, like there's been a few like occasions where people are like, you look so much like Selena. I remember I posted this photo on my Instagram and everyone, like seriously, so many people commented that I look like Selena in it. So it's just a, it's just a video. But I honestly feel like it was, it's more because of my bangs and the dark red lip. I've seen a lot of beauty gurus, um, here on YouTube and I love the way that they input like their techniques like the way they would do their makeup but I think today's challenge for me is to just make myself look like her so I'm gonna try doing like her eyebrows and her like just her makeup in general and she always went really natural um, I feel like her red lip was really so bold and I and I love that but I also feel like she was just very natural like she was a natural beauty I'm gonna try to make myself look like her as much as I can um, and I picked out one picture from her that I really really liked but literally in all her pictures she has a red lip so I'm of course like I have to do a red lip I feel like that picture is so beautiful um, it's just like her natural beauty she's so beautiful um this challenge has started so i'm just gonna get right into it i'm gonna just kind of walk you through what i'm gonna do so to hydrate my face i'm using the elf hydrating water essence one of my favorite ways to moisturize a water-based lotion that hydrates um for healthy glowing looking skin so i really like this lotion it's not oily at all whatsoever it actually helps with my makeup i'm gonna do a spritz of this um not sure how to pronounce this name, but it's like Suai, New York, Revitalizing Rose and Mist. I'm just going to do a spritz of that to kind of calm my face a little bit. And then once that kind of, those two things kind of settle into my skin, I will apply kind of like my primers. So I'm going to use this Nivea Man Sensitive Post Shave Balm. And I'm also going to add just a little bit around my nose of this Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Primer. I do want to talk about some of the products that I have. My best friend, Ron, let me use her Selena collection from MAC. And I've never owned anything that that's mac or anything like that so she's like you could totally use this for a video because she's the one who always who always told me you look like selena video and i've had them for a little bit and i've been procrastinating on this video so she let me use the three eyeshadows i have this one which is a purple kind of shimmery eyeshadow it is so pretty and this one is in um selena that is just such a pretty purple. And purples are always hard to make. I feel like they're one of the hardest colors to make. So, um, but this one's just a pretty like shimmery purple. And like I said, purples are hard to make. There's more pigment like on my finger than there is on the back of my hand. Then there's this um, other one. This one's more of a taupey kind of color. And this one is, no me queda mas. This one's very creamy. The purple one was a bit more, um, like chalky a little bit more drying but this one's a lot more creamy and this one's like a perfect i feel like this is a perfect contour shade just for my skin tone i don't know like i feel like i could contour really well or just like as a transition shade i could use this one this one's more of like a baby light pink and it's so beautiful this one's also very creamy like the taupey one They're all very beautiful shades. And we have three lipsticks. This one is called Amor Prohibido. And it's so pretty. This one's just more of a, like a nude. It's like more of my perfect nude. I know for some people this would be dark on them. But this one's actually more of my perfect nude. Just because I'm a little darker. The red one. And this one is Dreaming of You. It is more of a dark red. I feel like she used more bright red, but I mean, this is a beautiful red anyways. And I might just use it today and just mix it with something. But it is such a beautiful red as well. It's more of like a wine red. It is so beautiful. Then there is, ooh, this one is the kind of red that I am looking for. This one is Como La Flor. And it's such a beautiful red. Watch that for you guys. So yeah, this is more of like the red that she used. That is so bright, so vibrant. 
beautiful pigmented so these are the three shades of lipstick okay so I am all done priming my face now to add just an even layer of foundation I'll be using the LA girl pro coverage foundation the shade in nude beige and I'm just gonna blend everything in with a beauty sponge just because that gives me more of a natural feel I'm just gonna add a lightweight concealer and whenever I do that I like to color correct underneath my eyes um, this is just a kind of peachy concealer that I use to correct um, my dark circles. Just brightens everything up. I'm not gonna use such a heavy concealer. I want this look to look more natural. So I'm gonna use this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Light. It's crazy because I got this one and I usually get sand, but this one's more like neutral. It's not so overpowering. I felt like with sand, it's a little bit more like yellow tone. I'm gonna put a little bit of this underneath my eye. As you guys can see, it's not that light. I know on, ca on camera it looks a little bit lighter than it is just because I have so much lights around me right now. It's kind of crazy. I'm going to go in with my beauty sponge and blend all of this out. I'm just going to put a translucent um, powder on top of this just because, like I said, I don't want so much coverage. I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm going to dip it into the translucent powder and kind of stamp it all over my face. And I'm going to bring some life just back into my face by adding a little bit of bronzer and I'm going to be using the Butter Bronzer by Physician Formula in Bronzer. And I'm just going to hit more of my cheekbones. Just because she did have really like pretty cheekbones, so I'm just gonna kind of just go over my cheeks a few times. Okay, so now that we're here, I'm actually gonna work on the contours of my face just to kind of perfect them and make them more of her contours. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go in depth with it just because um, it might take a little bit of work for me, um, but that's just what I'm gonna do. Right now I'm taking this e.l.f. bronzing pal palette and I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna use a fan brush to contour right my like right in my cheekbones just because it kind of just puts it where I want it while blending it out. Do the eyebrows if you guys see Selena's eyebrows they're very um, dark towards like the inner corner but they were also not like they were just dark in general um, and then she did have more of like a rounded brow in most of her pictures she liked a bold brow is a pretty good picture of her brows like her brows didn't look they were just a lot darker so I think I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows pretty dark dramatic and then keep them at the shape like that I'm looking at right now. I'm going to be using the Smashbox Shape Matters little eyeshadow slash it's like all about your eyes. You can do so much with this um, little palette but I like to use this dark brown right there for my eyebrows. And I'm just using this flat kind of brush by BH Cosmetic. Crazy but I'm going to start from the outside first just because I want to shape out her eyebrows. So they were... So her eyebrows kind of went down this way and then had a, like a pretty big arch, like a rounded arch. So that's what I'm going to do. So 
So I barely have any eyebrows to start with. That's why I didn't conceal them. I did want to do this um, and you had bolder eyebrows and you probably would want to conceal your eyebrows and like glue them down, conceal them um, just so you can like get the perfect shape. But like I barely have any eyebrows. So they came more down like that. What I'm actually going to do now is I'm just going to fill it in instead of like trying to make it lighter towards like this part I'm just gonna fill it all in with this powder it feels really weird for me I'm gonna round them out right there Eyebrows are pretty thin, so that's why I'm keeping my eyebrows pretty thin. So that's how my eyebrows look. I think they look pretty good. We're gonna move on to the eyes. I like she kept her eyes pretty neutral, but very dark. Like her eyelids were very neutral. She used very neutral shades. So I'm just going to use this shade right here, which is Missing My Baby. This is a NYX brush. And I'm just gonna put this all over the eye. Brighten it up just a little bit to go in with the more taupey brown shade which is no me queda mas and i'm gonna take that same brush but i just want to define it a little bit more and i'm just gonna put that in the crease i'm kind of doing it like at an angle and i'm putting that in my crease towards the outer v And then I'm going to just kind of bring it into my nose a little bit just because I want that more of a shape. You guys see that? It's just Then I'm going to take that taupey shade once again and I'm going to grab this brush. This is a NYX brush. I'm just going to kind of bring that taupey shade down in the lower lash line. grab this black liner like I said she had like really dark always very defined eyes I my entire waterline the top and the bottom okay guys so I have lined my line my waterline um, and then I also added some black shadow just to kind of set to the eyeliner because it was it wasn't the best eyeliner ever um, it, I just use this Ulta eyeliner pencil and blackout um, I have used used this one before and it, it's not like the most pigmented so what I did was I added a little bit of just black shadow I always kind of had a wing um, on it was a very small wing but then she also had her top um, line so I'm gonna use like this NYX matte liquid liner and I'm just gonna make a little wing She has a pretty, like, big bottom lip, and then her top lip is kind of like mine. Top. Using a darker lip liner than the lipstick that I'm going to use, just so it makes my lips look a little bit more pouty a little bit more bigger. This is the Ofra Lip Liner in Maya. Now I'm gonna go in with the bright red, which is this one right here, which is called Como La Flor. That is so pretty. Dark red. So I'm just gonna put this on top of this red one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do my bangs. Um, her hair was pretty poofy. Um, so my hair is kind of like her hair, especially in the picture that I was trying to replicate. Um, her hair, as you guys can see, it was pretty poofy. 
so it's pretty long my hair is not as long as hers but her hair is pretty poofy i feel like we have the same kind of hair texture so i'm not really going to do anything with my hair what i did do was i usually whenever i get out of the shower i don't brush my hair but this time what, what i did was i brushed my hair right after i got out of the shower just so it would straighten out a little bit and get a little bit more poofy um just because that's what i was going for and then my bangs i'm not going to straighten straighten them i'm just going to try to straighten them a little bit and make them really loopy just so that um they'll they'll get to where um i want them to be i'm gonna part my hair straight down the middle though and i'm just gonna thinning out my my bangs because my bangs are pretty thick and she didn't have as like thick bangs as me so i'm just kind of hiding them underneath my hair 